Hi, I'm Gary Crooks, designer of the Shadowball Pro Size 5. Welcome to this exciting video documentary of the Shadowball Scientific Passing Accuracy and Catching Improvement Program. Beautiful. I'd like to introduce you to two key members of the Shadowball Scientific Sports Team. Kobani Bobo, ex Springbok player, current commentator on Supersport Rugby, ex Springbok Sevens captain, and Dr. Ray Finch. Person with a lot of experience in doing scientific sports experiments, been working with the New Zealand cricket team, the Australian cricket team. Very glad to have you guys on board. Thank you. Dr. Ray Finch, a lot of experience in sports science. Um, as the inventor of the product, I've asked you to join the team because I feel it's really true to my heart to make products that are good for people and everything that we do is supposed to uplift rugby. So we don't want to make a product and develop a whole bunch of drills, send them out there and the next minute people come back with bad skills. The purpose of this test is to make sure the drills that Kobani and I have designed, the product that I have designed is good. So just lead us on some thinking about how we'll make this scientifically relevant and the input that you'll have to the project. Well, good. I think I think it was first is to develop a battery of, of tests to, to test the skills, test the skills today, and test the skills in four to five weeks time after after having exposed to the tool. So this, the five different testings, um, test skills, skill sets that we're going to do today is to test this passing, standing passing accuracy um, test from both dominant and, and non-dominant side, as well as the running passing as and catching. So if we can if we can show that there's been a, a statistically significant improvement in the skills, we know that the ball has been has been privy to that to that development. Okay, thanks. Well said. And just you know, talking about um, making sure that it's good for rugby, it's always great to have the experience of someone who's been in the game their whole life, someone who's played at the very highest level of rugby, sevens and fifteens. Gobani, tell me the drills and that you're thinking behind how how you put the drills together. What you know, what's your input, Jan, and how do you value your your input and what do you think it will do for rugby? Oh, just first of all, uh, I wish I had this ball when I was still playing because uh, uh, the, 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 the skill set is, is of catching and passing is probably one thing that makes New Zealand being a world leader in terms of the rugby side. And that's why these guys have won 36 games and they've lost one game in the last two years. So now if we can, uh, with these drills, improve in terms of how the guys pass the ball, how confident they get when they pass and the decision making that they can make, the improvement can just leap on forward and make us the world beaters that we know ourselves to be. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to and it's good to have these kids here trying to enjoy that and trying to see how much we can improve them. Cool guys, thank you very much. Looking forward to having your involvement on the project. Just a quick briefing, the, the uh, Shadow Ball Scientific Passing and Catching Accuracy Improvement program will consist of two days. The first day where we measure the base skills with the hoops and the tests that Ray has designed. The second day, which is more Gobani's role, he'll be doing a motivational talk and then we'll be delivering a one hour in-depth training on how to hold the ball, how your feet should be, and then the nine games developed by one of South Africa's leading universities, the Stellenbosch University Center for Human Performance Sciences. So I think a saying that we like to keep in mind, practice makes perfect not really true practice makes permanent so we want to make sure that we practice the right technique so that we can develop skill so on that note i'm excited to getting started yes. this is some good results yes get in, get in. <laughs> all right so our first rule is the, the running pass to the right and the running pass to the left beacons are set out three meters from the target three meters off to the side um, and the pass gets, gets takes place at the second beacon so that it's a backward pass through the hoop points are awarded for a successful through the hoop um, pass and deduct one point if it hits the rim and goes through deduct two points if it the rim, rim and misses and zero points for missing completely all right so the, the second test is a standing pass test it's taken from five meters away passing passes with the dominant side and non-dominant side again with the same target the same height and um, points are awarded for a successful pass through the hoop and points deducted for for various misses hitting the hoop and going through deduct one point hitting the hoop and missing deduct another one and missing completely zero points there's two different catching test drills that we've done. One is one is a 180 degree spin um, to, to anticipate uh, where the ball would be coming from, quick time, hand-eye coordination and reaction time. So the, the subject will be standing facing, facing one direction, spin 180 degrees and catch the ball side on from their dominance and non-dominant side. As the testee shouts go, um, one of the students makes the pass inside a zone that's demarcated. For the passes, there's a target zone is created for each student. So they lift their arms up and a target zone or between the middle of the forearm and the tip of the finger is the zone for passing in that side and a similar zone for passing this side. The testee then catches the ball or drops the ball. Points are awarded for successful, unsuccessful catches. The, the second of the catching test, from, again from dominant and non-dominant receiving side, 
is a double clap tap test. No movement now, no spinning around now, but but it's about get, having to having to get the student to first double clap before looking up to receive it. So they, they face the tester. On on my go, again, the same targets are used on either side. On my go, the student would clap twice before looking to receive the ball. Ready? Look at me. Ready? Go. Guys, we're here at the Centenary House. We're going to meet with Janssen van der Rist, the master in charge of rugby. I'm a Jeffy old boy here um, at, from the school, and the last time I was here, I was full of being shouted about one of the tricks. So it's quite nice to go inside here, have a give an opinion with Janssen. What does he think of the shadow ball um, ahead of the test we're going to do today? Let's go speak to Janssen. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Firstly, Thank you very much for hosting us. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, as an old boy, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to come back to the school and, and, and offer something back. And I think from my company, Health Cube, and, and our involvement with Shadow Ball, we are open to, to make a difference to JP first of all, and then make a difference to, to rugby as, as a whole in the country. So I wanted to introduce the Shadow Ball, I and mean, that's what we have today. Good. So here it is, that's the size 5 Shadow Ball. Alright, this is mine. This is the same size and same weight as the size 5 ball. We also do size 4 balls. But it's designed for, for any, any rugby player that's wanting to train on their own, um, try and get you know, that whole thousand hours philosophy, 10,000 hours philosophy um, of, of the more I practice, the better I'm going to get. So this allows, allows anybody at home or at the hostel or, at, or after school, whether there's friends around or, or not, to, to practice a number of drills that, that the, some sports scientists have worked out and the body board has always been involved as to what rules will be the most effective with imparting, uh, imparting skill improvements onto rugby players. So, I mean, I'd like to hear your, your first impression. You know, as a rugby lover first and a rugby coach, I think this can be quite exciting. You know, for, a, for a boy uh, who wants to improve his skills, passing and catching, you know, to go out on his own or with his mate and uh, enjoy a bit of time and while doing that, you know, improve. getting better. You know, That's I really think this can be, this can work. Yeah, I think, you know, the time, for, for, for my opinion, time spent with your coach, I remember being at school with, with the last time I played rugby, was time with the coach was really around getting the, the, the scrum sorted out and getting the backline moves right and getting the, the game plan right. Because you really got about two or three hours a week between games with the kids. You would, ideally, as a coach, love the, the, the center six or center sevens to arrive with the skill set in hand so that their catching and passing abilities are really where you want it to be, then it should, that should make your life as a, as a coach easier. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, the more time the boys spend with the ball, the better. And I always tell the boys, you know, uh, repetition is the mother of skill, That's and it. you should re really spend time alone with the ball. Yeah. You know, and you and your mate just uh, improving those skills that you need on the field. Uh, let's go outside and, and see what it's all about. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Thanks for uh, having. Uh, using JP High School for boys, uh, we really feel privileged to be part of this uh, scientific test. So let's see how we go. Guys, and uh, thank you. It's my privilege and an honor to be in such a being esteemed, I guess, uh, company of you guys and being here. I uh, know at the first we mentioned Jake White, we mentioned Bafana, but it is about the heritage, it's all about the tradition, but then it's all about you guys because you are the future. So that's why we're here. Um, we're coming here for the scientific testing of the Shadow Ball, and this is what the Shadow Ball looks like. So, to some of you guys who've seen a rugby ball, you probably think, What the hell happened here? But we're going to go on to about it. This is why we're here, trying to introduce this so we can uplift our skills so we can move on. Uh, I'm not going to take my time and go on about it, but what's important for me, for, to you guys, is that we're here to have fun. We're here to improve ourselves. We're here to make sure that we can adhere and listen to the coaches and the people who will be testing you so that you can get this and done it efficiently so that then we can get great results.
So tomorrow we're introducing you to the ball really. Today we were testing your skills. Tomorrow we're introducing you to the ball and you're going to be hearing from the inventor of the ball and, the, and, and Gary from Shadow Ball himself why it's designed, how it's designed and how can it benefit you guys. But thanks very much. Like Bonnie said, your, the way you guys behaved and your professionalism, thank you very much. You guys were great. Hope you enjoyed it and, and um, we hope that in four weeks' time we've been able to improve your skills tremendously with the use of the Shadow Ball for those that are going to get good. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Day two, what we're trying to do today is uh, catching and passing improvement accuracy. And uh, with me, I'm, I've got the Dr. Ray Finch and Ian on my side. He's a man from uh, Peak Performance Coaching. Yeah, I think yesterday went well. I think the scientific testing was was well well managed and, and, and was nice and strict by the by the testing testing staff. So, so we're hoping to have a really good before and after testing battery where, where we can we can prove the, the effectiveness and efficiencies of the shadow ball which we're introducing into today. I think they're going to be intrigued and excited. I think yeah. yesterday, using a different skill set and different practice routine, I'm already, they were a bit amped and I think when that ball is unveiled, um, they're going to be pretty excited. <laughs>
It's good to be back again now. We're here for the final and checking the progress of the players, what they've done with the shuttle ball testing experience of catching and passing. So what I've been excited about is the fact that everyone has improved. And not just improving, everyone's starting to enjoy the shuttle ball and shuttle ball has, has added a bit of value because it's been used as a tool. But it's all about the kids to enjoy themselves, get better at their skills and aim. I've seen massive progress with these players and I'm actually starting to enjoy it a bit more now because the guys starting to understand what the rugby ball is all about. Great skills, this is what it's all about. Okay, four weeks on, we're back here testing and it's obvious that some kids have really put some work in and um, something uh, that we really wanted to see strengthen is passing to the weak side and I was highlighting Vili LaRue from the Springbok team and how he gets that pass and then some guys really were trying to strengthen that pass up. Then it was pretty obvious that they were the non-rugby players but they really had an aspiration to have some basic ball skills because no one, no one enjoys being shown up even at a social level so the guys have been working with the ball, really enthused. Some of them lost their ball to some uh, senior boys in the boarding house, but that was obviously because it caught the senior boys' eyes. So there's enthusiasm, there's passion, there's interest. The guys are really enjoyed the project. So it's, my name's Ryan Ravenscroft. I'm the director of sports at JPR School for Boys. Uh, yeah, and I've just been just overseeing, well not overseeing, just being looking at the Shadow Ball project. Okay, so from from an outside perspective, and, and just very thankful to Shadow Ball for using us as a as a pilot scheme. We, I, I think the boys have embraced the challenge and embraced the the ball, and, and and ultimately I think it's a wonderful tool for the future. You know, um, the boys have been uh, around the school using it a lot, so much so that there's boys who shouldn't be in possession of a ball who who, who do have one. So they've obviously nicked it from somewhere. Um, some poor guy who's, who's, who's supposed to have a ball not, doesn't have one now, but it's, um, yeah, we, we're very happy from a school's perspective. Uh, my name's Jaden Pepper. I'm in the Super Experiment group. Um, I've been playing with the uh, Shadow Ball for now, like, for four weeks. Um, it's improved my passing and my accuracy. I've been throwing it against the wall. You put tape up against the wall and throw it against the wall. And yeah, it's just... So my name is Lita Zua, I'm in the experiment group. Uh, I think the show ball is a good, good ball that can help you a lot with your passing, especially when you do two sports. So I think the show ball helps you with that, with your passing when you're not looking at the ball and the catching of the ball. My name is Shade Glacier, I am in the control group. Um, I unfortunately didn't get a shadow ball to take home, but I'm in hostel, so quite a few of the boys there mess around with the shadow ball, get some game going, but and I'm, I'm actually hoping to get one. It does definitely improve your skills. It's, it helps a lot. Just in closing, thanks so much for all of you guys who put that 100% in to the control group who, um, who like stayed out of it for the benefit of the test. We appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Everybody in the club.